gospel soul. Breaking the yoke of bondage through the power of the word of God. Join Pastor Jackson and friends as we rightly divide the word of truth. You can find my gospel soul on Facebook, Twitter, but you can also find me, Denise Jackson, on Facebook and Twitter as well. Now, keep up with us also on the Denise Jackson Ministries website. That's at www.denisejacksonministries.yolasite.com. And remember, with God, all things are possible. Amen, amen, amen. Welcome to the show. None other than your host, Pastor Jay. Amen. Come to you live in Houston, Texas. To God be the glory for the great things that he has done. Amen. Y'all know I always look forward to joining you over the airways. Amen. No telling what the Holy Spirit is going to do in, on this broadcast. Praise God. Yesterday we had a power pack show. Praise God. We are talking about establishing the names of God. Amen. And yesterday we talked about my forgiveness of sin and my pardon. Amen. And today we have an exciting show for you as well. We have, amen, none other, amen, than Stacey Williams going to be on the air on today. Amen. This powerful man of God, amen, I have met him a couple of times. I have seen God use him in ministry, gospel, rap, praise God, amen, and God using him, amen, glory to God, to shift the atmosphere, praise God, amen, and to uh, just uh, show us, amen, that God Amen, hallelujah, has great things for us to do. So um, uh, he's on the air right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome to the show. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. How you doing? Bless, bless. That's wonderful. Say, That's wonderful. Oh, all right. Hey, introduce yourself. I mean, just introduce yourself. Tell us about you. Amen. Glory to God, because I just really want to dedicate this show to you. Amen, and uh, because just in the, the short time that I have experienced, amen, glory to God, your presence, I know, amen, that God uh, is doing a work through you, and I, I just want to share it with my uh, listening audience. Amen. My name is Stacy Williams. I go by the name of Gospel when I rap, but I wasn't always um, on the Lord's side. But the Lord has always been calling me since I was about eight or nine years old. I was raised in the house with drug dealers and that type of thing. And I would always hear someone calling me, but I did not know it was the Lord. And when I was about 27 years old, God showed me me dead in a coffin. And he told me to get up and go tell the world what I've done for you. And I was still very disobedient because I did not know exactly what he wanted me to do. With three years prior to that. I really underwent what he was talking about. I actually died, and um, God brought me back to life. And now the blessing part of it is because God already knew from the beginning that I would one day die and that he would bring me back. So he had my mama name me Stacy. My name means one that was resurrected. So God has a plan for our life even when we don't know he has a plan. Even when we don't know his plan is working, his plan is working. And I'm telling y'all, God does a lot of stuff behind the scenes that we can't even account for. But his hand is always at work. And so as God began to move and um, work with me, I began to uh, um, throw real heavy over in the prophetic really hard. And um, it's just been a wonderful thing walking with God. I won't say it's been an easy walk because it can be challenging. But it's wonderful to know that Jesus Christ is on my side. Amen. It's a wonderful Amen. thing. It's a wonderful thing to know that in spite of everything that I've done, that His blood was strong enough to cover it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank and you. I'm here with you today because of what He's done with you and I. Ah, come on now. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And so I am. I'm crazy, and I, I think in terms like this. 
that long before we was ever created, that God knew that we would be doing this right now, this day, at this time. I don't mm-hmm. think things just happen to him. I don't take what's going on lightly. I do know that God has things ordained since before the foundations of the world. And mm-hmm. I think that we are walking in it right now. Amen. Amen. I agree with that. I agree with that because, you know, so many times we take we take for granted the divine design of things. Amen. And this is truly a divine appointment. I ran into you two places. And I always say, you know, I'm running into when I run into people, praise God, and God gives me that divine connection with him, I said I'd have met another brother or sister, not just what we say is a cliche, that's my brother, that's my sister, but seriously, a divine connection, amen, glory to God. Now, I invite you on the show because, amen, and I listen to your music too, and I'm telling you, I'm a, <laughs> my God, you know, on the radio, that I mean, on uh, Facebook, they're saying, I'm so South Park, I'm so this, I'm so bad, amen. But I'm so Jesus, amen, and I listen to yeah. that, this, to that, uh, to that music, and man, I'm telling you, the, my children, my household, amen, just bobbing and, and listening, amen, to the word go forth, amen, in a manner where it's understood, the music is not overshadowing the word, and we can really hear the gospel message through it, amen. Uh, talk to us a little bit. I'm a, The song I want to play first is, I have called it my favorite on the CD. <laughs> my God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. If your heart isn't in it, hallelujah. I want you to just take a couple of minutes, just talk about that. Minister to us, amen, where that song, how that song came about. That song came about, I was actually um, in the studio, and we was listening to some old school music. My friend said, I want to sample some old school stuff. And I said, well, I really don't like the mess of secular music. He said, but you'll like this song. When I listened to it at first, I didn't like it. So he done it, and he rebuilt the track. And um, and I started thinking, well, if your heart ain't in it, your heart ain't pleased at all, and that's for real. Because whatever mm-hmm. you do with the Lord, you got to do it wholeheartedly. Mm-hmm. And so we started putting stuff together, and we called in a good friend of ours, Derek Leon. And uh, mm-hmm. we sent him the track and sent him the idea, and he sent back the vocals, and that song was birthed. And it was meant to give believers an encouragement to walk straight and be correct with God, to give God your whole heart. Don't play Amen. with him because he knows when you're playing. He knows Amen. when you're playing. He knows you're down riding and you're sitting up. He knows, he knows everything about you. And mm. so if we can't fool him. You know, the Bible says if we look warm, he'll spew us out. And so if we're going to do it, we might as well be piping hot. We Amen. might as well give him our whole heart. Mm-hmm. And so that song was birthed out of the, was birthed out of that because I wanted people to understand that it is possible for you to love Jesus with your whole heart. Mm-hmm. And if you're not gonna love him with your whole heart, don't play with him. Just be cold. Huh. That's right. Amen. One side or the other. Praise God. Amen. I thank yeah, God. Amen. Yeah, oh, that, that is. You know, I thank God. Amen. For for that because that's the truth. We we got to serve him with all that we are. We gave when we were in the world. We gave it our all, you know. And, and and it's nothing like Amen. When you come to Jesus Christ and you just give it all, you just give all, surrender all, sold out, and everything. And I just thank God, Amen. I love this song, Amen. Those of you that are listening, this is if your heart ain't in it, and by Stacy Williams, Gospel Hallelujah, right here, Hallelujah, My Gospel Soul. Let's go. Me. I know what thing is, he don't deal with Lou, he not your fire. 
Amen, amen. You're listening to My Gospel Soul. We're breaking the yoke of bondage through the power of the Word of God. And we have on the air Stacy Williams, a.k.a. Gospel. Amen. And he has a story of an encounter with God that confirms that God saves the worst of us so that he can show himself exceedingly merciful. From prison to praise, gospel knows that Jesus Christ is to be credited for his uh, dramatic life change. Amen. Glory to God. And that's just a little piece, amen, of, of his story, his bio. Praise God. So you that are just now tuning in, we have the man of God live on the air. Praise God. And it's a certain thing I wanted him to just minister to us about because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a little bit old school. I'm a little bit new school, praise God. And I'm also, even in the gospel, we have a lot of people that have not come to that acceptance of gospel rap yet. But, you know, I was raised in a household uh, uh, uh gospel. I was raised in a household and wow. where we had all music, all music. We, we, just, we just sang and blessed God and we sang and about love. We sang about everything, praise God. And um, just today, I would like to hear, amen, uh, your feelings uh, of how you, what you think about that bridging that gap between gospel, I mean, uh, uh, rap, gospel, ministry, you know, all that. Well, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing because I was not um, actually I was only doing gospel rap per se that could stay inside of the church house. And um, I never thought about recording CDs because I had gave up rapping and I was totally uh, um, focused on preaching. And here one day, God woke me up out of my sleep about 3 in the morning and he asked me a question. He said, who going to reach Rick Ross for me? And mm. I, I said, Lord, if you're saying what I think you're saying, I said, Lord, you know the church going to fight me tooth and nail. Mm. And his reply again was, who going to reach Rick Ross for me? Mm. And, and, and and I came to a deeper understanding of what he was saying is not just reaching Rick Ross as far as reaching Rick Ross, but as far as reaching the people that listen to Rick Ross. Right. See, if you get Rick Ross, then you get all his listeners. That's right. And so That's God right. began to, uh, uh, my first CD was called Armed and Dangerous, and God began to give me song after song. They was coming so fast. I was recording so fast. I didn't know what was going on. But God mm. has shifted gears in my life. And he set me on the plateau. And he said, the reason for you doing this, he said, I want you to teach people how to talk. Mm. He said, because yeah. they're dying because of the way they talk. He said, mm. if you change their conversation, you can change their whole life. My God. And so God began to give me songs that were conducive to giving him praise. 
Back on my first CD, I have a song called This Is How We Do It with Giving the Lord Praise. That song features a um, soul fruit, Toby of Soul Fruit. And a, um, it's just a real, real exciting thing to see somebody can put a CD in with their child. And instead of them getting fed pause, and they know that they can be uplifted and be encouraged. Whether they're being taught to be a, a, a prostitute or a drug dealer or a stripper, you got someone that comes in and just give you the word and teach you how to live right before the Lord, but keep it jamming. Mm. Do it in ministry, but we know that people like to jam also. So I got a dude named Crank, Crank It Up Production. He, um, he does my tracks for me. And he done a lot of stuff for me back in the days before this side of the fence. And um, we got in tune with that and started pushing that. And I heard you say that y'all grew up listening to all kind of music in the house. Well, watch this. I was listening to a song the other day. I don't do secular music, but I was in therapy. And um, a song came on the radio, and it's a John Legend song, and it blessed me because I can hear the Lord all in that tone when it got to the hook. It, uh-huh. says, it, says, it says, all of me loves all of you. Mm-hmm. Your curves and all your edges, mm-hmm. your perfect imperfections. Mm. Give me all of you, and I'll give you all of me. And when I when I heard that, I said, Lord, I love this song. It's a beautiful love song. I know they sing about boy and girl, but it's a love song for Jesus and us, because He wants every part of us. He knows us yes. through our very hairs. He knows the very knows every number of ton of the hair on our head. He knows everything about us, and he loves everything about us. And so what mm-hmm. we do is every time that we come to him in love and we repent, we are just, the Bible says that we have the spirit of just men made perfect. And so mm-hmm. what God does is when we repent, he makes us perfect again in his eyesight. I know men say you can't be perfect, but according to God, you can be perfect. The only thing you have mm-hmm. to do is keep a repentant heart. Because That's once right. the blood covered it, it no longer exists. Mm-hmm. It no longer exists Amen. once the blood covers it. And I so, like that. I like that. I like that. Let's stay right there for a minute because um, we have a lot of people that can't grasp that concept. You know, we and it's a spirit of judgment, really it is. And it's also a spirit of, uh, if I can point out, all of your imperfections and all, of, and I can, and I can deposit that spirit of guilt upon you. Then it takes the focus and attention off of my issues, praise God. And uh, I just, I mean, right in there, man of God, just stay right there and talk to somebody out there because we have a lot of people that have fallen and that have have sinned and fallen, and they don't even have the courage to get back up again not understanding what repentance, how powerful repentance is. Listen, repentance is so powerful that it made John say, that is therefore now no condemnation to those who believe. Listen, mm-hmm. your condemnation is sent to you by the devil who makes you guilt trip and make you beat yourself up because he wants you to wallow in what you fell in. Yeah, but yeah. God says his word today and says he don't condemn you. He wants you to repent and change. Jesus said that I did not come into the world to destroy it, to, to condemn it, but that man through me might be saved. Mm. And so once you put your hand to the plow and you keep pushing, the only thing you have to do is do this one thing, get up in the morning, and when you mess up and you know you fall into a temptation, just ask God to forgive you. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, ask him to forgive you. He'll wash that thing clean. But now watch this. Don't put your wound to it and go back again. Yeah, it is. Come on. Because <laughs> the yeah, Bible says, he told the woman of God, he said, sin no more. Let the worst yeah. thing come upon you. And so yeah. you don't want to keep returning back to the vomit that God pulled you out of. You're not a dog, yeah. you're a woman. And God gave you his senses. Mm. See, an amazing mm. thing happens when we get saved. When we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, our spirit man come alive. And so now we don't see and think like regular people. That don't mean that your warfare stops. Now you got a stronger sense of what's going on. So now what you need to do and what I need to do and what we all need to do is just keep a repentant lifestyle before God. 
The Bible says the Bible says that God that David's heart was perfect before the Lord. But David did so much stuff. But David knew how to get to God and say, Whoa, well, God is me, I've sinned and against you have only have I sinned. David knew how to repent before God. And so David did not walk in guilt and condemnation. He kept an open line of fellowship and communication with God by way of repentance. Mm. And listen, I have a word. I have a word that this nation needs to hear now. That if we mm. don't repent, we'll fall to our knees. We'll crumble. This whole wow. nation will crumble. So I'm not, hold my t- this whole nation will crumble if we don't mm. repent before the Lord. My God. We need to repent before God of our idolatry, of all our sexual immorality. We need to walk in a life of repentance, all our rebelliousness. We need to repent before God. Mm. We need to be repentant before God. America needs to repent to the Lord. My God. Come Lord on, Jesus. Man. Lord have mercy, Jesus. I mean, oh, you, you can say that again. I mean, you—it's like you're all in my in my week. You all in my you all in my uh, topic for the for the uh, uh, for the past couple of weeks, uh, teaching people, that, you know, that that God is who He is, but it's through Jesus, you know. But it's God. It, 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 it's through Jesus Christ, but it's God, you know. You repent to God. Yes, Lord. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Uh, this yes, is this is powerful. Oh my God! You know uh, 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 that 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 calls for the nation to come into a place of repentance. The call for the body of Christ to come into a place of repentance. You know, is 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 is. I was listening to you speak, and it's just that easy. I wake up in the morning. I say, Lord, forgive me, and then I do not return. He says, It says, Be not entangled again with the yoke with of the bondage. Yoke of bondage. I made yeah. you free. Oh yes, God. yes, yes. I am sitting up, woman of God. I haven't been sitting up, and God woke me up at five this morning, and I began mm. to just pray, and to tell God, thank you for His merciful hand towards us, because Lord knows America done done enough dirt that we should be under the dirt. Come on. But the Lord says, for a few righteous, He has scattered city, and I want to thank God for America having a righteous remnant. And I believe that the only reason that this country is standing is because there's a righteous remnant here. A trace of God is in America. And I believe oh, that's the did. only reason why God has not destroyed this place. Ooh, you know it. You know it. That remnant, that, 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 those intercessors, those prayers, it's still, my God. I, I mean, ooh, it's still yes, it's, um, a, it's a, a remnant, remnant here ooh. that loves him. And God oh, began to tell me um, to call the prophets out of hiding. Mm-hmm. And this season, he's asking for the prophets to come out of hiding. Make yourself mm-hmm. known to the people. Be available and accessible to the people of God. Mm-hmm. Because he's going to do away with all those hiding and all those fake prophets. The time is coming where the Lord is raising up his real prophets. And we'll stand with boldness and declare the works of the Lord and not preach to rip you off. Come on. Come on. Not preach you into a house. God comes with a plan. He's not going to tell you to jump up and shout three times and turn around and fix. No, your your change has a process to it. Come on. And so God is raising up men and women of God that can walk you and show you how to work your process. Yes. That's it. It's time out for all that play play. If it ain't Bible, it ain't real. Real. If it's Amen. not biblical, if it's not lined up with the word of God, it's not real. Mm. Mm. Beware of leaving other Sadducees, says the Lord, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Lord, have mercy, mm. Jesus. For they say and, and they do what? not do. Oh, oh, and you know what, man, because the, the, the God has been, um, <laughs> my God, dealing with me too about revealing those vain imaginations. I heard you say that it ain't real. It ain't real. That's that vain, that vain imagination that cast that that sleep that has, has <laughs> my God, the wool that has been yeah. pulled. Thanks to God's eyes to believe that to believe in a form of godliness and de- denying the power thereof. You know that sleep, that 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 uh, spiritual coma that has uh, stricken the body of Christ. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, I, I um, use it by this, the body of Christ. 
we have we are now now we got a disability going on. We got my God. Yes, you're talking. You're talking. So oh, we're, because we crippled people. In the ministry, we crippled them and let them come to church and sit. Yeah. And yeah. instead of them going to go get their word, they learn to listen to you preach the word. So we crippled them. Yep. That's it. But in the book of Ephesians, the Bible says that God made a fivefold ministry to equip the saints for the work of ministry. Mm. Not to preach to them and cripple them, but to Come equip on. them and empower them. My God. It's oh a sad God. thing if you die an apostle and you don't have an apostle that raised up under you. That's sad. Yeah. The Bible says each truth produced after his own kind. You better tell it. Come on. So if I'm a prophet, then I birth prophets. Not if you're not birthing prophets, if you're not birthing up your own kind, then you need to check your tree and see if you really that tree. Yeah, you better check it. You better check it. You need to check your tree. tree and see if you're really that tree. And I tell people all the time, it's good to do self checkups. It's good. To, it's good to do self checkups to make sure that you're all right with God. Yeah. To make sure that you're yeah. all right with God. And let me tell you mm-hmm. something. You, you tapped into something uh, um, that God had me praying this morning, and I was praying in that spirit. They have a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. And you tapped into that, and you were never when I was praying. Come on, come so on. So ain't number one Holy Ghost. So that tells me for a fact, I know that this phone, this this radio interview was necessary. Yes. Because there's no way you heard me praying. <laughs> but when you're in tune with the Holy Spirit, when yes. you're in tune with the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. You know what the Holy Spirit's saying. Mm. And so that's a blessing with all within itself. To know that you're in tune with the Holy Spirit, which I knew that the first time I saw you at that other church uh, in Acres Home. Yeah, yeah, and that was a connection. Mean. Then I just didn't get a chance to make the connection. But everything happens in God's timing. In His timing, it's right. That's right. That's right. Everything happens in His timing. And so mm-hmm. I want to encourage the people of God to live like Christians. Don't claim it and don't live it. Oh. If you claim it, live like it. Give mm. me real, real clear in the spirit. The Bible says Jesus told them, greater works you shall do. Yeah. And what he's saying is if you operate like me, you're going to flow with the power that I have. So it was one of me, but I produced many of y'all. My God. So I want to encourage every believer to do what you saw Jesus did. Mm. Do what you saw. I didn't say do what you read. Because you can see it when you, when, you, when you read it. If you start believing it, then you start seeing it. It becomes visual to you. Once mm-hmm. you believe it, it becomes visual. So do what you saw him do. Amen. Do what you mm-hmm. saw him do. Mm-hmm. Follow him. Live like him. Don't follow me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the top of the pole, totem pole. He is. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's why right. I never remember when Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. But if I ain't following Christ, Paul was telling him, if I'm not following Christ, then abandon ship. My God. Abandon ship. Hmm. It's time out for people. Listen, listen, it's time out for this right here. We got people now homosexuals in the pool pit. That's My not God. Jesus. You better come on. That's not Jesus. I don't care how much they ordain you according to man's standard as a bishop, and you're a homosexual. You're not following Jesus. You need to get delivered. You need to get delivered. Come on, Lord have mercy. What happens Jesus. now is by you and your church, and you are living in homosexuality instead of you birthing Christians. You're birthing homosexual. You birthing homo. And, oh, oh, my God. I'm a. I'm gonna let you, uh, Lord. Listen, come on, you're please. birthing homosexuals. You're birthing things that, that God is not pleased with. You need uh-huh. to abort that mission. Abort it. You, <laughs> I like that. You need to abort you that need mission. To, you need to abort that mission. It blesses me. People say, no, don't talk about homosexuals no more. Don't talk about that no more. Well, if you read in Romans 1, then if I don't talk about them and warn them, then they're going to go to the fire of hell. Come on. You better come on. Because the Bible says, I already knew God, they glorified him not as God. 
expect a reason for the homosexuality, you know him, but you won't give him his glory. Because if you give him his glory, he'll break that, he'll break you free from that. Yes, it will. You, come on now. Hallelujah. He said, because you wouldn't give him glory, he, he turned you over to a rubber made man, and he said, and the men left their natural use of women and lifted out the men. And the women did like why? And Lord. it's all okay because you refuse to give God glory. The Bible says that they worship the creature rather than the creator. Oh, my God. That's, that's it. They worship the, cre- ooh, the creation instead of the creator. That's right. And they can't tell and me. So now we want to tell God. Now we want to tell God, God, you don't know how to make people. I was born in the wrong body. You're lying. God is perfect and mm-hmm. made no mistake. Look, you was not. Th- Last night we were in a conversation with this, with some other saints of God. And I said the same thing. I said, I've had people, I was born this way. I said, that's why he said you must be born again. He told Nicodemus, he said, how can I tell you corner things when you're corner? He said, you must be born again. Born again. You know, I got a song on that album called Breathe. I yeah, said, I, I said, remember right this, no said. matter what may happen, you was born again. And if you lose them, then you probably need to be born again. Come on. That's Come your on. whole you reason for living a defeated life is that you probably need to be born again. My God. Not just homosexuality, all sexual sins. See, let me tell you, oh, so every sin that is committed is committed outside of the body, except for sexual, sexual sins. The Bible says that when you have sexual sins, you sin against your own body. Then he turned around and said, how you know, old man, that God won't destroy that temple? And so it says God decided to destroy that temple, that's where all the sexual diseases come from. Because people want to live in sexual sexual immorality. My God. God wants his temple back. My God. And we ain't talking about no church building. We ain't talking about you, the people. Come on. He wants his temple back. Mm Mm-hmm. My God. Everything that we do on this earth has a request in heaven. Yes, it does. Yes, it and does. And we begin to praise God on, on earth and worship God on earth, then earth becomes fruitful. When we begin to live in rebellion, then earth becomes in rebellion. What you saying? When we start living in rebellion, then murder, rape, and all that stuff start occurring. When we start worshiping and living like Jesus, then life and peace come. That's right. My the problem God. is we chose to live and worship the wrong way. Yeah. Amen. But again, even as we're in error now, we still have time to repent. Yes, repent indeed. now for the day of the Lord is at hand. Mm-hmm. I know the day of the Lord is at hand. If you hear the word of God coming to you now, that means the day of the Lord is at hand for you in your life. So he's giving you a chance to get it right today. So repent today. Tomorrow yes, not promise. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, there's no guarantee you're going to wake up in the morning. There's no guarantee you're going to make it throughout the day. That's right. The one thing that's guaranteed is that we all going to stand before the same God. Yes, we are. No matter which course you think you're taking, you're going to still have to deal with the real God. You can mm-hmm. worship Buddha, you're still going to have to stand before the real God. You can mm-hmm. worship Muhammad, you're still going to have to deal, stand before the same God. With God, I'm talking about the Lord of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The one that made him the earth and the universe. I'm talking about Jesus' daddy. That God. God. You're going to have to stand before him, and you're going to have to give account for your life. Amen. And so you might as well accept Jesus and repent and get your life clean. So when you stand before him, you can say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Now I'm going to make you rule over much. Well, that Amen. sounds good. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. To know that I can one day rule in God's kingdom? Mm. My God. That's a whole other thing. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That's a whole mm. other realm of his glory. To know that yes, he set you up because he wants you to rule with him in his kingdom. Jesus. Ain't that amazing? Because oh, we were made in his image. Think about it. Why wouldn't he want you to rule, his, rule with him? We were made in his image, in his likeness. We were made like him. We were made to rule. Yes. 
Hallelujah. But we fell for a lie. And so now we love the lie more than we love the truth. Yes, Lord. Mm. You know, they had a song, My- a circular song, Women Lie, Men Lie. <laughs> and when I heard that song, I said, well, women lie, men lie. Why can you come do a song called Women Tell the Truth, Men Tell the Truth? <laughs> exactly. Because if people start walking the truth, then you'll have a whole world preaching the gospel. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. That's true. Them by thy word, thy word is true. Oh, you say never see you all about men lying women like if you don't want you to know the gospel. Mm. <laughs> I got it. And so we got stuff true that's not true. Yeah. The Bible says <laughs> that every man be a lie and God be the truth. Amen. And so when you're standing in God's principles, you begin to operate like God and you begin to stand in truth. And any time mm. you're standing in truth, God backs you. That's His right. hand is with you and he backs you. Amen. Amen. He backs you. Amen. Amen. But you know, we timid, right we timid Christians. We timid Christians these days. Mm-hmm. We don't want to go through nothing. We don't yeah. suffer nothing. Want to suffer nothing. The first time yeah, we said, no, God, God, God don't let me no more. God don't let me. Yeah, he do. He know how much fire to make you rebirth again. He know how much mm-hmm. fire it takes to get you going again. You know, you know, you know, um, Pastor Chris, I was so blessed. Um, the prophet came to my church the other day. He says, anytime your life is not producing the way God wants it to produce, he calls the chaos to, to, to develop around you. Mm-hmm. And the reason for the chaos is that the chaos push you and make you start talking the way God wants you to talk again. Yeah, amen. <laughs> he says, so just like God spoke into the chaos when the earth was without form and void, chaos, he said the same thing as in God is in you, and so God wants you to speak into that chaos. Mm-hmm. So he allows chaos to develop that pushes you to your next plot and to your next dimension. Mm-hmm. And, and that blessed me so much because I was wondering, God, what in the world is going on? Mm-hmm. But God knows how to send a word when you need it. Oh, yes, he do. Yes, he do. He, know how to, he knows how to send a word when you need it. And, and I'm firm enough to believe that I, um, that one word from God can shift your whole atmosphere. Yes, it can. Because, yes, you know, the Bible can. says, by the word of God, where the world's trained. Mm-hmm. By his word, he framed worlds. So if we begin mm-hmm. to speak his word, it frames our world. It builds our world. Mm-hmm. But we don't talk his word enough. We talk 5% God and then the rest of the day, who blah? and trash and negativity. And so we get mad when we see the trash and the negativity manifest more than what God said. Well, which one we <laughs> be calling the most? Amen. That's right. That's what it's right. You know, that's Amen. why I love Proverbs. When it says life and death li- lies in the power of the tongue. But what yeah. blessing is people people miss this part. He says, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Thereof. And that's that's what whatever you speak and that's what you're going to eat from. Mm-hmm. That's right. And so we want to be part-time Christians and want to get blessed by a full-time God. Mm. Uh, you know, my mother you, always you hear- talked about the tongue. The Bible says the tongue is a ready writer, meaning that when yes. you start speaking, something is being written. Yes, <laughs> He says, he says, as a matter of fact, he says, my heart is overflowing with the good thing. I recite my composition concerning my tune. My Come tongue on. is the pen of a ready writer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that brother had a revelation. He said yeah, his yeah, heart yeah. is overflowing with the good thing. Yeah. So I recite my composition concerning my tune. Yeah. Now, if I'm doing the reciting of my tune, then my tongue is going to write out. Thing. Okay. You know what I right here on earth. Mm. Hold on, get me started because we're going to the Our Father's prayer, Lord Jesus. 
What did he hey, say? Let's say we would be done on I'm, earth even as it is well? In heaven. Listen. Listen, I'm sitting here and I'm saying, I know I'm supposed to be playing another song, but this Holy Spirit got this living water pouring out. I ain't finna mess with the fountain. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Hey, Lord Jesus. Listen. But I'll be obedient. I'll take a break. When we come back, amen, we're going to let that river continue to flow. In Jesus' name. Hey, next Lord. Time. Next up by Stacey Williams, praise God, gospel, right here on My Gospel Soul. Amen. Tell somebody to tune in to show. Amen. Today, amen, has a word for each and every one of us. Amen. If you, the Bible says, if my people, hallelujah, which you call them my yes, name, walk for themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land. This is My Gospel Soul. Tell somebody, hallelujah. Well, hallelujah. Come on. Take that ass up off your chest. Put your mind in motion. Sit back, relax. Give thoughts to this motion. Go breathe, little homie, in the midst of your ocean. Take it one step at a time when them walls is closing. You can be called and not chosen. Strategize your race. As long as you make it in, you ain't gotta be first place. Stop running out of breath. Ain't no shortage on air. Stop letting this world pressure you. It's worse nightmare. We feeling like Rick Flair. We refuse to fold. We standing firm on this word, y'all. All ten told. Ain't born now, ho. We done faced them all. Gotta briefly lose grip. Resist till you fall. And when you're back against that wall, take one deep breath. Process been released. Watch you order your step. It takes endurance in this thing. It's not speed or strength. Give thought to technique. Watch how your time is spent, huh?
The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God bless you. Amen, amen. You're listening to My Gospel Soul. Amen. And today's show uh, broadcast uh, word, <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but the, but a move of God. Hallelujah. Amen. It's amazing. Amen. We have uh, uh, Stacy Williams, amen, a.k.a. the gospel on the air with us today. God has given him a gift to use conversation. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> The gospel through changing the conversation. Amen. Glory to God. I can't explain it. Amen. All I know is I am connected in the spirit realm with this man of God. All I know, praise God, is it's something shifting right now. Amen. Hallelujah. And everybody that listens to this in the archives, if you're downloading it, amen, if you're listening to it live, praise God, Make sure you catch what's happening right now. Don't allow the enemy to come in and let this go over your head, praise God. Amen. Ask God to open up your heart, open up your mind, open up your spirit, amen, so that you can get what God is depositing right now in this atmosphere, praise God. I'm going to move back out the way, praise God, because I know I'm going to throw a little interjection in there, praise God, but I know that God has given this man of God a word, praise God. I'm I'm just going to give the floor over, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, it's amazing how connected that this show is. Now, you feel like laughing, Pastor? <laughs> I got up this morning, and I was cleaning Jeff Major's Psalms 23, and that was my mm. worship song for this morning. Mm. And so here you mm. come right now playing Psalms 23. And yeah. I told you, when it's a divine connection, God just make everything fit for some reason. Yeah. And so I'm excited, but I got something that's lingering in my spirit. And um, I want to um, release healing because I know there's a couple of people that's watching has diabetes. And the Lord said, speak to the diabetes and tell it to draw up. So in the name Amen. of Jesus, I command you to draw up right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Father, I command cancer because you told me specifically diabetes and cancer. And so, Father, I command cancer to dry up right now in the name of Jesus. We yes, release God. the blood of Jesus on every situation of diabetes. And everyone that's under the sound of my voice that has cancer, we command your healing to manifest now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Mm. I'm really excited. Um, mm. Now, this is what you know. What's amazing to me is that how God places anointing on people that's not even looking for it. <laughs> Amen. It's it's, it's kind of amazing to me that you can be about your everyday life and then God interrupts your everyday life with His anointing. It's amazing to me. Is because before God formed you, He already know who you are. The problem with mm-hmm. us is, is that we don't know who we are, and a lot of us are walking blindly. God saying you this, this, and this, and He telling you you this, this, and this, but you won't operate because you're waiting for a prophet to confirm something for you. Oh, you don't need oh to listen to me. I, I want you all to hear me real clear. If God spoke it, it is. Whether you get a word of confirmation or not, if God spoke it, it is. Quit waiting for people to tell you what God already told you. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Quit waiting for people to come and tell you what God has already told you. Thank you, Jesus. You own it. Sometimes I'm telling he'll you. send a confirmation, and sometimes he won't send a confirmation. 
But yes. to know that you can hear his voice is confirmation enough. Yes, come on. Because, come on. listen, listen, God will not allow people to take his credit. People want to say this one mine, that one mine. No, they the Lord. Is this not the brand that I have plucked out the fire, says the Lord? Mm. You're going to be untraceable. They don't know where you come from. You say, my God, I ain't been in church my whole life, but I know I hear your voice. It's because you're a prophet and you just ain't been trained. Come on. <laughs> just get somewhere and get trained. Just go Man. get trained. So you can learn how to flow and go. He ain't going to take away his calling. His gifts and callings right. come without repentance, so you might as well accept it and line up. Hmm. Trust me, even when I was on the streets, he was talking to me. And people tell you, well, God don't talk to no sinner. Well, you better be careful who you call a sinner. Because <laughs> you never know who you're dealing with. Yeah. Because yeah. I was on the street selling drugs and everything, and God was talking to me. Hmm. How I know he was talking to me, he used to tell me, look, you get your boys and you go home. Go home and go to sleep and don't come back out tonight because some people going to die. And I'll get yeah. my food and we go home. And when I come out in the morning and look out, they say, man, such and such got killed last night. You know, such and such one got, got shot and robbed last night? Mm. So I want to encourage people to be careful who you call a sinner. You never know, know, you never know who, 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 who God got his hand on. Mm. While you trying to dog them out and talk about them, you never know who God got his hand on. That's right. The person that you call a sinner might have your deliverance locked up in his belly. Or her belly. Jesus. But you too busy judging and characterizing that you can't even see God in them. The Bible says, know them that labor among you. Mm. When you go out in the vineyard and you're witnessing, you got to know who you're witnessing to. That's right. That's right. Woman of God, I promise you. We was witnessing, me and my church was witnessing, and I got to this one guy. When I touched his hand, the Lord had told me to ask him. I remember it just like it was yesterday. The Lord told me to ask him, what you doing out here? He didn't say, what you mean what I'm doing out here? I said, listen, man, and God, you can't hide from God. God know you're a preacher. I know you're a preacher. And when I look at you, that's all I can see is a preacher. And he said, yeah. you're right. I'm an ordained minister. He said, but I, I failed. I said, well, restoration come today. That's right. Come on now. So you got to know them that labor among you, even when you're going out into the vineyard. You got to be sensible and kind and yielding to the Holy Spirit so he can let you know who you're talking to. Amen. Amen. But you know why we don't yield? Because we got a whole lot of Christians that's still carnal. Yes, Lord. We have a whole lot of people that's functioning in big offices, and they're carnal. They will not yield to the Holy Spirit. They got the I syndrome. It's all about me syndrome. They got that syndrome. Neither. But I'm telling you, as we sit here talking, God is raising up some people that will yield and that will yes. follow him. Mm. He's raising them up. I see it. He's raising them up. He's raising them up. When we started off this show, God told me to, to tell you all that God is calling the prophets out of hiding. I'm telling you, he's raising up the real. Jesus. Yes, Lord. He's raising up fathers in the spirit. He's raising up mothers in the spirit. Somebody that's going to love on you and nurture you and make you produce. Hmm. That's going to cultivate your tree and make you produce. Amen. Amen. Oh, man, of God, you don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. That was a fig tree that was in a vineyard out of place, in a vineyard. Fig trees don't grow in vineyards. Come on. <laughs> but that fig tree was out of place. And when the Lord yes. came and required some fruit from that fig tree, it had no fruit. And he said, cut it down. But the man that was working in the vineyard, the pastor said, God, give me one year. Let me dig about it and bury it. In other words, give me time to make it produce. Come on. <laughs> and so God calling you in because he want to make you productive. He want to make you produce. You can hear him, but you're not productive because you're not trained. Yeah, you're a prophet, but you need training prophets. Come in and submit to the Lord. 
Come on in. Come on in. Come in and submit to the Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. While I'm listening, God, I hear you, Lord, loud and clear. Thank you, Jesus. And we bind every spirit of witchcraft that's floating in these airways now. In the name of Jesus, the Lord comes yes. against you and the Lord rebukes you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name, in of, the Jesus. name of Jesus. In the every spirit of witchcraft and warlockism, we bind it now. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We oh. bind it now. You have no rule and no authority in this atmosphere. We bind that spirit now. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, there are people that's training people how to sue say, how to read tarot cards. But your real gift is the spirit of the prophet. Mm. So you've been trained wrong. You've been told that you're a witch and you're not a witch. Mm. Hallelujah. You're not a witch. Come on. Hallelujah. Listen to me. <laughs> the difference between a prophet and them people that you see on TV, Island by follow me now, here's the difference. One of us use our gift for God, and the other one twists the gift and uses it the wrong way. Same mm-hmm. gift, but the gift per- perverted. Mm. Come on, tell the truth. So you operate with a perverted gift, the gift belongs to God, and you let the devil trick you into operating with a perverted gift. Mm. Come on, tell the Listen, truth. Listen, I'm crazy. Because I'm crazy, because I'm crazy enough to believe that your gift can be so perverted that you'll be a pole dancer instead of a praise dancer. Come on now. Hallelujah. You'll call yourself a pimp rather than a preacher. That's your spiritual mm. perversion. Mm. And God is calling you in because he wants to align you and get you to flow in your proper gift. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord, I didn't plan on going here, but I just hear God. My God. He calling you in because he want to use you for his kingdom. He want to use your life to bring him glory. He wants you to build his My kingdom. God. Come on now. But you've been trained to not build his kingdom. Lord have mercy, Jesus. The Lord breaks that spirit now in the name of Jesus. Every lying demon that's been lying to you, the Lord comes against that now. In the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Lord have mercy. The Lord, above all things, I wish that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prosper. Be in health, even as your be in health, even as your soul prosper. Listen to me. God wants your mind right. He wants your health right. He wants your finances right. Mm. And Come He on, wants man. your health right so that you can enjoy your finances. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh. He wants you with the right mind so that you'll know what to do with the finances when you get them. <laughs> Why do you want your mind right? Because the Bible says God gives you the power to get wealth that his kingdom may be established in this earth realm. That's your whole reason for being able to gather wealth. Is that God can establish his kingdom in this earth realm. But we've been taught a selfish way. We've been taught to not give. But we have to give to build the kingdom. Amen. We have to support to build the kingdom. Yes, Lord. Listen, money answers all things when it's used properly. When it's used properly, that's right. That's right. When it's used properly. Mm. My God. When it's used properly, we can build and we can tear down. What do you mean, build? We can build churches and we can tear down strip clubs. Come on. Make it plain. Oh, God, Lord, have mercy. Help me. We can build the kingdom. And we can tear down Satan's kingdom. We can build God's kingdom and raise warfare against the enemy's camp. You know, I love that old song. I went to the enemy's camp and I took back what he stole from me. Mm-hmm. So when we got the right finances and God tell us to fly to Asia, we can fly to Asia and go and claim that for God. Amen. But with our finances, we be stagnant. So more answers all things when it's used in the right content. Come on now. Don't, don't don't get that scripture twisted. God ain't talking about money answers all things for you to go buy five or six more kilos. That's not what he's talking about. That's not what he's talking about. Come on now. He ain't telling you money answers all things for you to build liquor stores. That's not what he's talking about. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> he 
He's not talking about that. He's talking about building his kingdom. Money answers all things. Yes, it's designed to build God's kingdom. Hmm. And since we're talking about money, let's go here. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all better get ready for the ship that the work, the work transfer, the work of the wicked is laid up for the just that, that the transfer is going to happen shortly. Oh, my God. Come on. But now watch this kingdom of the people. You have to be in position to get it. Position, that is. You have to be in position to get it. They're not going to just drop it in your lap. You have to be in position to get it. What do you mean? I don't see nothing wrong with Kingdom Gas Restore. Hmm. I don't see nothing wrong with places like the difference. I don't see nothing wrong with it. Come on. Anything that's going to find a bill of Jesus up, where the wicked can come in and spend their money, that's how you're going to get the money back. Come on. You're going to make them come and buy your goods. As opposed to it being flipped the other way, we've been buying their goods. So what I'm telling you, there's a reversal taking place in the spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to hear me, there's a reversal that's taking place in the spirit. That man was rolled over your head. Yeah. Hmm. Went through the fire, went through the flood, but God brought you out into a wealthy place. My God. Now it's time for you to be the one riding over here. Mm. Hallelujah. It's time for us to ride over here. Thank you, Jesus. It's time for us to strike the devil on his head. Yes, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord Jesus, I'm not buying a spirit of lack. I'm buying a spirit of poverty right now, and I release Come prosperity in life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. How are you going to go to the nations if you broke? If you broke. Come on. You broke. How you going to go if you broke? The man of God came to my church the other night, and he said this also, and it blessed me. He says, you're not waiting to become a millionaire. You were born a millionaire. Mm. He said, well, people look at you funny because they can't see past your two nickels. Mm. He said, if you were born a millionaire, millionaires just don't become millionaires. They're born millionaires. He just waiting for your ideas to manifest. Just need money to make the ideas manifest. Got all these great ideas, but can't pursue it. Because I don't got no money to pursue it. Mm. My God. Let me tell you something. This is, it's, 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 it's a dangerous thing to be a millionaire, but have a million-dollar mind with trap in a four-dollar box. My God. Come on, talk about it. What you mean? I have this great idea, but I have no way of getting it out and have no way of pushing it. And so I'm praying for God to send in more money. Trust mm-hmm. me, I'm not just talking to you. I'm talking to me, too. Amen. Million-dollar ideas, we don't have the finances to finance it. And so Amen. when I see places like the difference that God showed me in 2001 that manifested that I saw now in 2014, I know I didn't miss God. I heard him for sure. I just didn't have the money to push what he showed me. Amen. I saw it, too, man of God. And so now I'm praying for finances. If you have godly ideas and you have um, God has given you a crazy mind to see things that will work, I'm praying for God to send you the finances to get it going. Amen. And look, I know I'm shifty and I'm kind of all over the place, but I promise you, God wants you blessed. Mm -hmm. And he wants you blessed in every area of your life. No, Listen, it's a sad thing to come to church, shout, and dance, and go home with nothing to eat. With nothing, nothing. Come on, man of God. And then you're in church, shouting and dancing, and you're among all these people, and can't nobody pick up that you don't have no food in your pantry. Yeah, you don't the have The devil no is food. a lie. Come the on, devil man. is a lie. <laughs> Ain't got That's enough. not how God designed it. Come on, call it out. Listen, what happens is God tells people to bless you, and instead of them being obedient, they close their fists. They never hear God, but they close their fists. They freeze up and they'll give you what God told you to give you. But God, we break that spirit of sinfulness in the name of Jesus now, too. We break that now. 
In the name Thank of you, Jesus. Jesus. Cause us all to be givers. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Cause us to give. Mm-hmm. When you say give, God cause us to give. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus was showing us the way when he had the fish and the loaves. He said he'd been with us a few days. Feed them. Mm. In other words, Jesus said, I can see what's wrong with them. In other words. Yeah. And if you can see the problem, then try to help the problem. Try to help them with the problem. Mm. If you got the help, don't close your fist. Not God. But we got a hold of spirit. We think everything we get belong to us. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Well, half that money, Mr. Million, now you listening, half that money, God commanded you to give it away a long time ago. Come on now. God commanded you to be a blessing a long time ago. God says, I will make you a blessing. The reason mm-hmm. why he want to make you a blessing so that you can bless people. That's it. Come on. But we got a harder spirit. We think everything that we get belong to us. Every car that we buy belong to us. God well, could have sent you to the lot to get that 2014 Camaro because somebody was praying for it. And he wanted to use you to give it to him. I don't Come know why now. I said the Camaro, Lord Jesus. Come <laughs> on now. And they want this car, and God just told you to go get it, and you didn't know where you went to go get it. You just had an unction to go with this car. You don't need the car. You got a bunch of them. Why should I just be obedient and give it? Mm-hmm. Just be obedient and give it. It's not your car. Come Thank on, man. Jesus. So I hear. Lord, have mercy. When I start mm-hmm. talking like that, I hear people wrestling in my mind. I'm crazy. Now, you know, I don't want to say I'm crazy, but I hear somebody wrestling in my mind. What do you mean it yeah, ain't my car, God? I went and bought the car with my money. Yeah, you went and bought the car with your money, but it's not your car. Not your car. Tell the truth. Come on. You went and bought that other house. You thought you needed three houses. Two of them not your houses. I'm going to just mm-hmm. lease them out. God tells you to give them away, but you're going to lease them. Yeah, but you're going to lease them. Come on. You talking to somebody? Listen, this obedience is just like witchcraft. Yes, it is. Just be obedient and do what God told you to do. Do what he told you to do. Everything don't belong to us. Come on, Everything now. don't belong to us. Praise the Lord. Listen, when you look, when God calls you beloved, he loves you. And so he wants what's best for you. That's why I said above all things, no matter what you got going on in your life, above all that drama, above all that stuff that you're going through, he says, I wish that you prosper. Mm. Why he wants you to prosper? Because he know that if you got enough money to make it, then you would sow and you would give to the kingdom. That's right. You would give to the kingdom. So he said he put prosperity. Below, below, above all things, I wish that you possibly have a lot of, lot of abundance. He wants you to live abundant life. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. He wants you to have mm. abundant living. And y'all Amen. ain't no possibility to preach it so you can get that out your mind. Preach real. Amen. But for some reason, God leading me here. He wants you to have an abundant life, a life that's overflowing in his abundance. That's it. Can, can I say something? And I don't want to sound funny. Why would you want to follow me and I'm broke all the time and I'm telling you how good God is, but I'm always broke? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I think you'll start saying, I don't want to deal with this Christianity because it makes you broke. Mm-hmm. Well, God says, beloved, above all things, I wish that you prosper. I want you to prosper. I want you to have nice things. I want you to prosper. I want you to have an abundant life. But I don't want you to have a selfish, abundant life. People get it and become selfish. That's not what God was calling us to be. My God. And know the church not begging when they ask you for your tithe. Let's clear that up. They're not begging. They're not begging. Come on. That's ordered by God. That's ordered by God. Mm-hmm. Why did God order your time? Because he want to rebuke the devourer for your sake. 
the stuff that's coming up against you that's eating up your flesh, eating up all your finances, eating up all that. God says if you'll get that 10%, then I'll stop that. I'll rebuke that. I'll rebuke that revival for your sake. Hmm. If you want to you want to hear something that's a blessing, uh um, Pastor. Uh huh. The woman that had the issue of blood. Mhm. You would think after all those years of bleeding, she would die. Hmm. Right. Right. Now trust me, this woman was no fool. And they just want to make it look like some woman pushed through the crowd and grabbed a hem on his garment. That woman was no fool. She knew exactly who to touch and where to touch a man. Yeah, come on now. Let me tell you, because in the Old Testament it says that the son of righteousness shall, aw- shall arise with healing in his wing. That wing is a tassel that hangs, they call it a hem. Mm-hmm. So what she said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, what she was just saying, if I can get to that wing, that tassel, because I know mm. he's the son of righteousness. Come and on, the Bible man. already declared that healing is in that castle, in that wing. Jesus. So she just wasn't know anybody. So God did not allow her issue to kill her. He allowed her issue to stay there until it was time for her healing. Come on. You better come on. <laughs> you better come on. <laughs> Lord, have mercy, Jesus. He come allowed on, her you. issue to stay there. Until it was time for her healing. So when her healing manifested, she had enough sense to grab a hold to it. Jesus. And so, 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 Jesus said, who touched me? Because when she touched him, she touched for a specific reason. She knew mm. she was trained in Scripture. They cannot convince me that she was not trained in Scripture because of the way she flowed and when she touched him. I knew she had to be a child of God. Come on now. She had to Come be a now. child of God. Yes, Lord. And then what gets me, what gets me is that, I, is that her healing showed up when she was at her wit's end. She oh, had spent all of her money. She was at a whip hand. She had nothing else left to the bend on. But God is saying, I know oh Lord Jesus. God said in her in her case, he wasn't going to let her be able to say that her healing came from the doctors. Come on. Yeah, Jesus. He wasn't going to let nobody receive that glory but him. He let her run out of all her resources. Nothing else she could do. But believe what God was sending. Hmm. Lord, have mercy. Some of y'all out there, y'all the resources. I'm telling you, help on the way. Thank you, Lord. You thought it was over, but I'm telling you, brand new life coming. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I decree brand new life. In the name of Jesus, I decree brand new life. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, have mercy. I decree brand new life. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, even as next month we go into the eighth month, God, I decree a brand new beginning. Yes, Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. I decree a brand new beginning in the name of Jesus. Lord have mercy. I decree a brand new beginning. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus. You spun all your resources. You don't have nowhere else to turn. But I'm telling you, Jesus Christ, the anointed one, is visiting you now. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is visiting you now. Yes, Lord. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. And y'all, Thank when you hear you, call back and leave your testimony. Mm. Call back and leave your testimony. Yes, Lord. Lord, have mercy. It says some people can be encouraged. Call back and leave your testimony to bring them glory. Not because I'm telling you, but to give them glory. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm really all over the place, but... But I hear the story of the lepers now. That were ten, but one of them came back. Mm-hmm. And so one everybody talk about the ten, like the ten did something wrong because they yeah. didn't come back. Mm. Well, the ten was told to go show themselves the, the, the lamb. The lamb was told to go show it. All ten of them was told to go show themselves to the priest. Mm. Now watch this. Something funny happened. Something funny happened, and, and people are gonna probably get mad at me for saying this. 
the one that returned, returned in disobedience. Though he was thankful, he returned in disobedience. <laughs> the man kept doing they were done exactly what they were told. God said, we yes. to the priest. The one on that side of the land, he told that even if it's against the law, I'll come back and I'll give you praise. Yes, Lord. What are you saying? They told Daniel, don't you pray to God no more. Daniel said, even if it's against the law, God, I can't help but give you praise. Hmm. Well, Jesus. Thank even you, if they're going to give me disobedience, God, I can't help but give you praise. I can't help but praise you in my God. Mm. I can't help but praise you in a grocery store. Oh, Jesus, Lord, have mercy. I can't help but praise you. You've been too good for me, for me to not praise you. And for me to let people mm. silence me and tell me don't praise you, I find out a person, Lord, I'll be disobedient in this case. Mm. I can't help but praise you. Because I know at the end of the day, when everything is true, I still got to stand before you. Still got to stand before you. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. I still got to stand before you. Oh, God, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for giving us the courage to stand. Thank you for giving us the courage to stand. Yes, when they tell us we can't. Thank you, God, for sending in the spirit of boldness. Yes, Lord. When they want us to faint in adversity. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Man of God, woman of God, you are strong enough to preach the gospel. Hmm. Because God's strength is made perfect in your weakness. Hallelujah. God's strength is made perfect in your weakness. Run no more. Run no more. Hallelujah. Run no Hallelujah. more from the Lord. Yes, Lord. Run no more from the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. You. Your days of running has come to an end. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. You don't want to get put in Jonah state, sir, the Lord to die. Mm. You don't want that to happen to you. Just come on in and serve the Lord. Come on in. Come on in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on in and serve the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know, Pastor. I, I feel a major breakthrough. I'm just, yes, I just feel like major breakthrough. It's happening even as we are um, doing this radio station interview today. I just feel major breakthrough. I just feel breakthrough breaking out in homes. Yes, sir. Lord have mercy. Thank you. I Jesus. feel the spirit of the breakthrough, Bel Perezim, the Lord of our breakthrough, God of our breakthrough. I feel breakthrough. Yes, this sir. is breaking out in homes. Yes, sir. I feel breakthrough, Lord Jesus. Yes, sir. Lord Jesus. Yes. I see. I see. We have someone on the uh, that has called in. I believe it's my friend Minister Stokes. Are you there, Minister Stokes? Yes, I am. What's up, Big Brother? Hey, how you doing? God bless you. Man, that was an awesome yes. word today, man. You know, you know what's funny. You want to hear something funny? I was just what? looking at your picture that you took with a pastor this morning too. <laughs> So now you yeah, that word, that, that word was for me today, though. That word was for me Thank today. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That word was Thank for you, me Jesus. today. As soon as I came yeah. in, you started clearing. I said, oh, Lord, it's coming back. There it goes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I God just asked God if like I restored. I just asked God Sunday when I got prayed for by my bishop by restoring me. And that, that that word right there just restored me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you. Emma, oh Jesus, I'm about to get caught up on this. Oh Jesus. Come on yes. now, hallelujah. Come on Thank now, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. I feel the anointing so heavy right now. I feel the anointing so heavy right now. 
Sheba, Omanti and the baby she. I feel the more than you right now. Take on the little she and the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Take on the little bit of both she and the baby. Yes, yes. 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 Father, we thank you for restoration right now, Lord. Send restoration throughout this country, Lord. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I feel restoration. Hmm. I feel it. I feel it. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank Lord. You, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, that's Lord. That's why the word said, you got a spiritual restore them that's fallen. Yes. He didn't say leave them fallen. He said bring restoration. Restore them. Don't talk about them. No condemn and bring restoration to them. Yes, he did. Mm. Oh, yes. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Thank you, mm. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, Lord Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. The Lord mm. is calling us to a place of repentance. Lord, have mercy and restoration. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hello. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am super excited. I am super excited. I am super excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am super excited. Yes, yes. I am super excited. I can't say it enough. I am super excited just for this opportunity. Yes, Lord. Because out of everybody, God picked me today. Mm. Mm. Why that means something to me? Okay, Zachariah, your time to go in and worship with the incense. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. If you on this phone today, it's your time to worship. And give God praise. Watch yeah. what happens when you worship and you give God praise. There's a yeah. blessing that takes place. Zachariah yeah. worshiping his wife Elizabeth got pregnant. Lord Jesus. Come on now. Yes. Lord have mercy. Come on now. Hallelujah. And so doing worship, you get pregnant. You get pregnant with ideas and you get pregnant with dreams. <laughs> and so today is your day to worship. God's trying to fill you up with his ideas, with his yeah. vision for your life. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's trying to fill us with his ideas and his dreams and his vision. Lord have mercy, Lord. Fill him up. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus. Lord help us, God. Give us vision. Mm. Give us vision, God. Mm. Give us vision, God, and then give us provision for the vision. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank Jesus. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I declare thank in the name you. of Jesus Hallelujah. that lives will never be the same. Yes. I declare in the name of Jesus that revolution just hit your life. A radical change has just hit your life. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Name thank of you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Revival is for the dead and revolution is for the living. Yes, yes Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, I thank you for the spirit of revolution hidden lies, Lord, and making people live, live wholeheartedly towards you, Father. I thank you, God, for sending your spirit and let it cause a revolution in our lives. Mm. Mm, thank you, Jesus, that we get the I can't help this like Jeremiah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Yes, 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 thank yes, you, Jesus. yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Lord, have mercy. Yes, 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 yes. There's someone, yes. There's someone, there's someone on this phone or on this, on this listening to this thing. With the last name Murray. Lord have mercy, Jesus. With the last name Murray. I'm hearing the last name Murray for some reason. Almost like a Sean Murray. But I'm hearing the last name Murray. Um, the Lord is with you in your endeavors. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is with you. Quit wrestling with yourself. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God, I'm scared to pass them. God is with you. Mm. Whoever you are, Murray, God is with you. Mm-hmm. He's with you. You're running behind thieves and hallelujah. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is elevating you now. And he's giving you courage now. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, if they're not on the phone, we speak it into the airways. Let the wind carry to them. Yes, God. Yes. In the name yes. of Jesus. In the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We're standing here right now, Jesus. It's a, uh, uh, oh, Lord Jesus. We are in a time now that we can't afford not to prophesy the word of the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. That we are in the last days. And God's word must be made clear. Amen. His word must be made clear. Must be made clear. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. I am so overwhelmed with his glory at this point. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I think we close out. Let me gather myself. I think we close out. Uh, um, you played one of my songs. It's called Breathe. Mm-hmm. And um, Trinity is on that song. That's Trinity. J. Baden. Uh, yeah. It's the beginning <laughs> on that song. Mm-hmm. He starts it off, and then it's me. And then it's mm-hmm. my now 18-year-old mm-hmm. that rapped on the, uh, at the end. Amen. And um, when we recorded that song, I was riding my car, and I could literally see God giving CPR to this place mm-hmm. that we call Earth. And I could see God giving CPR, and I'm, mm-hmm. and I was hearing this breathe, breathe. Mm-hmm. And so you're in a place that's constantly where there's a lot of death. But God began to tell me to speak breath into people. And so I was riding down the street, and God was talking to me and showing me that. And so that song right there came about breathe. Mm-hmm. That's why on that song I say, uh, um, okay, bad man, Mr. Dog Knight, you trapped in a dark place. Don't mm-hmm. you know that Jesus is praying for you to walk right, talk right? Embrace the light. Amen. And so when you, you know, do that, when you, when you come out of, go ahead. You know, you know uh, uh, man of God, I need for you to share some contact information right quick. We done came down to the wire. We done <laughs> lost track of time. We done came down to the wire. I want to real quick, just real quick, because we got a couple of seconds left. Please give some you contact can- information. You can reach me at facejw042 at gmail dot com on um, YouTube. I mean on on Facebook. I'm Stacy Williams. My phone number is seven one three eight three five four four five three. And if you call me, I will take your call. And y'all stay Amen. blessed in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. This has been my gospel soul, and we just had a good time in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Breaking the Amen. Body. Power. Oh. Word of really? God, say tomorrow show. Praise God. Just tell somebody, Amen. We might just get get a uh, man of God right back on here, Amen. To lift up the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. And tell and remember that without faith is impossible to please God, but with God all things are possible. Thank you, Jesus. Monday through Friday. Mm. Hallelujah. Monday through Friday.